coronavirus cases in India has crossed the 9 lakh mark with a jump of 28,498 new COVID cases. India's coronavirus count now stands at 9,6752. In the past 24 hours, India recorded over 28,000 new cases and 553 deaths. India coronavirus death toll now stands at 23,727 according to media reports. Manipur's COVID-19 tally surged to 1,626 after 17 fresh cases were reported in the last 24 hours, 7 males and 10 females. They belong to Churchanpur, Imphal East and Senapati districts. The number of active cases now stands at 656, while the number of recoveries is 970 in the state. Recovery rate is 59.65. Ten police personnel were infected with COVID-19 in Tripura yesterday. On Sunday night, 105 people were tested positive. Among them, 10 are police personnel from two separate police stations. These two police stations are Bishram Ganj and Milakar, both in Sipai Jala district. Nearly 50 people have been killed due to floods in Assam so far. Six more people died in rain-related incidents till yesterday. As per an official bulletin, Floods have submerged 95% of the Kaziranga National Park and Tiger Reserve, said a media report today. Thonaljum Brinda, additional superintendent of police, NAB, Narcotics and Affairs of Border, has alleged that politicians and police officers in Manipur interfered in the drug case against former ADC chairman Lukosai Zo. In her affidavit filed in the Manipur High Court yesterday, Brinda refuted allegations against her over showing inappropriate manner in the court and threatened witnesses during the court proceedings. An earthquake measuring 3.5 on the Richter scale hit Nagaland this morning. The tremor was felt mostly in Longling district of the state, according to media reports. The moderate earthquake hit around 8.32 a.m. this morning. However, there is no report of any casualty or damages so far. Co-convener of Moray Small Town Committee, Cecilia Haukip and National Health Mission Manipur under the aegis of Autonomous District Council Chandil launched a poster campaign on COVID-19 at Moray Town today. Yening Tha, a Facebook group, today handed over edible items for monkeys to Mahabali Temple Authority. The aid was extended to reduce the hunger of monkeys in the Mahabali Temple in Imphal, the group said. Nagaland registered 33 fresh COVID-19 positive cases today. With these new patients, the total number of COVID-19 patients in the state has gone up to 878. However, there are 538 active cases in the state. A total of 340 persons have already recovered from the disease. The state has not witnessed any COVID-19 related deaths. BJP workers have launched a protest against the death of Bengal BJP MLA Debendranath Roy, who was found hanging at a shop near his home yesterday. In North Bengal, protesters vandalized buses as police dragged them away. Markets remain shut as locals remain indoors due to the bund. The head of the World Health Organization has warned that the COVID-19 pandemic is worsening globally and things won't return to the old normal for some time. At a press briefing yesterday, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said that there will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future.